gonna do, we're gonna put all these bits of resin that we got off that honey super the other day. We're gonna put them in this bucket here. We'll try, we'll do one minute intervals. Oh, that's in the microwave. We'll just boil some water. For this, we'll need a sieve to sieve out all the chunks. And we'll need this baking tray, and this is to cook the um, resin. Chuck this in the, uh, uh, in the microwave. This is going in here for one minute intervals. All right, now another let's minute. see. After another minute in there, it's pretty much all turning into a liquid. We're just going to add a little bit of boiling water into it. Not much, just enough to just cause a little bit of liquid. Do you mind any of this that you use in here? So I'm just going to use this spoon to give it a good old stir around to mix it all. Emulsify it, probably a good word. I'm gonna give it a good all mix around. Handle with care, this is like molten wax resin, so. See all these bits and chunks of that's filtered that out, so it sort of semi filters it. See it's got this, all the resin and the wax is frozen with all the liquid out. So we're just going to pour all that liquid down here. That We don't want the liquid. Pour that out till it's all gone. Sheet of resin that the bees can use. There you go, all this here now. All that wax. Got a tiny bit of grit in it, but I just make it in. There you go. That's it there. One big fist size full of wax or propolis. It's be a mixture of honey, and then you can use this stuff to then seal up bee entrances and see to have many uses. The Aboriginals use it to make the uh, for their spears and around the mouthpiece on the didgeridoo. So yeah, hopefully that helps someone out. And then a bit of glad wrap as well. And that way it sort of keeps it from drying out and going hard in between use.